as I've gotten older and progressed into adulthood or become an adult, I should say, I'm not really that old, uh, and traveled a lot more, gotten a full-time job, engaged with a whole a range of people and integrated with different communities, I found that my sexuality has developed quite a lot in the last few years from when I sort of originally became sexually active around when I came out to now where I'm a very, very different person. And it's, it's weird that I can kind of see that change. But back when I was 18, I never, ever, ever thought that I would have, you know, the preferences of the type of guys or, you know, the background of those people, or particular features about them that I'd be interested in now because years and years ago, I was way more narrow-minded. There are various things that have changed over the years, which once upon a time I thought, no, this is all I'm gonna be attracted to is this type of guy and this type of person, these particular features. The major thing that I think has changed is tattoos, for example. I used to just loathe tattoos. I hated tattoos on guys and I thought it was so unattractive, whereas now they send me wild. And I'm not talking about tattoos that you know take over someone's face. I'm just talking about you know subtle, well-positioned, really attractive, kind of naughty and kinky tattoos around guys' bodies. And it's just, oh, so, so good. And it's like, as soon as I see a picture of someone there with a tattoo, a little tattoo somewhere, I'm just like, oh, sit on my face. I think travel is a really big thing because obviously you get exposed to so many different cultures of people, so many different types of people, and you start to understand what people are like as opposed to just seeing things on TV or, or you know getting some sort of imagination of what people are like. I think watching gay films, I made a video several weeks ago about gay cinema. Watching gay cinema is really really good because obviously they're very character driven and you get so attached to these characters and how you really start to get attracted to the person as opposed to obviously the way they look. I mean that's a very timeless message but you really need to learn that process, I think. Accents is certainly something that, you know, I think anyone can really find attractive. If you have a foreign accent of some sort, that is always way more magical and fantastical and way more kind of, um, sort of like a forbidden romance, I guess, is the best way to put it. Uh, it's, it's disconnected from your everyday life. The age of people that I'm attracted to has certainly changed. When I was younger, it was you know people my age or people that were a bit younger than me or only you know one or two years older than me. Whereas now, I find that my groups of friends, for example, they are all older than me. And I'm not saying that to you know make them feel bad. I think it's great because they're people that I find very mature. They're very well-traveled people. They've got a lot of experience in the world. They've been working for a long time. They've gone through a lot. And I find that hanging out with those sort of people is way more rewarding. And that's reflected in the people I'm sexually attracted to. Generally, are a little bit older than me. Not all the time, but it just seems to be that way because I get attracted to a personality and someone that can actually talk to you. Even something as little as like kinky underwear, I never really understood the point of it. You know, jock straps or really kind of high-end underwear where people buy it as like, oh, this is my naughty, my naughty jocks. But now that I, now that I've kind of you know engaged with people that have that are into that, even if they're just talking about it to me, um, I kind of get it. Another, the biggest thing I think has changed, and this is going to make me sound like a massive racist. I was only ever attracted to a certain culture of people. I wasn't. There were so many cultures where I was just not attracted to, and I always just thought that's just your preference. But a lot of people argue that that's racist. But as I've you know gotten a bit more years of experience on me, I find that the race actually really doesn't matter. Like there are people of any background that I can find really, really attractive. And it's kind of liberating because now I know, oh, I look back at my old stuff and I was like, yeah, you know what, I wasn't narrow-minded back then. And I just hadn't experienced enough of the world, I guess. It's not your fault if you've been brought up as a little bit of, in a little bit of a cave or a bubble and you haven't been exposed properly, I guess. But let me know your thoughts on that. I think it's a little bit of an interesting topic to talk about. Then of course you've got the, the way you express your sexuality because I think that changes as you get older because when you're obviously you're growing up you're you're very conscious of the way that you act in front of people because you're trying to hide it but uh, as you come out and you get to integrate more with gay people in the gay community and all that sort of stuff you get to be more comfortable with how you express yourself and I'm not saying that I'm a very flamboyant person probably what I drink <laughs> but as I've gotten a bit older and more experience under my belt I understand that I can just sort of express myself in any way I want to, but sometimes we still shield that based on certain people and in certain situations. Do you still shield your sexuality or are you just you just open and you just don't give a shit? And I want to hear what you say. How is 
your sexuality change, whether it's actual sexual preference or whether it's you know the, the group of friends that you hang out with or it's the way that you express your sexuality. Has it changed? Has it not changed? Has it gone from narrow-minded to more open-minded or vice versa? Have you used to be an open-minded person and had a series of bad experiences making you a narrow-minded person? All of this is totally fine. It, you are a unique individual person. I want to hear about what you have to say. I want to hear about you. Let's have a discussion down below. Thank you.